My name is Wes and I suck at running. In this video, we're going to cover what the NERV Run Smart Insoles are. There will be a follow-up video after I've had extended use and training of how it's changed me and other findings about the device. And before you go thinking this is uh, the kind of device that's only for like advanced or serious runners, it's for everyone. So running. I mean, it's a super simple movement, right? We've been doing it our entire lives on the playground we're little and now. But have we been doing it right? Like, why is it that about 90% of us have been found to run with a heel strike pattern? Now there's no clear evidence that, that heel striking is an improper way to run, despite some of the running experts out there claiming this is wrong and commenting on my videos. No study has definitively shown that this is the wrong way to run. And then there's pronation and balance and all this other stuff. All that can result in injury. So you spend more time on your couch and less time on the road. So here comes the Nerve Run Smart Insoles. Like I said before, no studies have shown that heel striking is really a bad thing that must be corrected. There are elite runners, a lot of them, that land heel or midfoot rather than forefoot. It's only when there is a known risk of injury that you need to adjust. So like personally, that's me. Like I have bad knees. I was a catcher in college and I was a rare one that ran pretty fast. I ran a 4 4 5 40. I put a lot of damage on my leg muscles and it was hard heel striking that gave me terrible runner's knee. It was enough to the point where I had to quit baseball or get surgery. So then I spent a couple years doing physical therapy and correcting a lot of muscle weakness in my running form with a running coach. Enough so where I was even able to run a two hour half marathon. After that half, I pretty much stopped running altogether. It's a lot of training. So then you cut to recently, which has been many years later, I've wanted to get back into running. And what I've noticed and many others in my videos is my heel strike came back. Again, it's not a bad thing, but it does need to be corrected if you're someone like me who knows this can result in bad knees. I didn't want to hire an expensive coach again, and I just don't really have the time to add that into my schedule. So enter one of the most exciting devices that I've seen released by a couple. Jason and Ulrika Roberts, along with Dr. Grant Torwartha, an avid runner specializing in biomechanics. It's the Nerve Run Smart Insoles, a patented home smart trainer and run analyzer unlike anything I've ever seen before. Truly, it's a patented novel inventive device. As far as what runners track, such as pace, cadence, distance, and like the basic things that you get on a smartwatch, we never had a great way to track other very important things like pronation, where you strike on your foot, step length, or definitive cadence. Now I say definitive cadence because other devices like our smartwatches utilize things like their accelerometers to estimate our cadence based on its metrics. However, with the 32 proprietary pressure sensors on the NERV insoles, it knows for a fact when our foot hits the ground, along with the other awesome metrics we're getting. That's the magic and the patented technology of this device. No assumptions, but actual pressure feedback. So we look at all this to maximize what's called our running economy. It's defined as the energy and oxygen cost of running a given distance at sub-maximal velocity. The better our running economy is, the faster and farther we go. One study published in the Journal of Medicine and Science and Sports and Exercise identified a number of factors that improve running were things like pronation and foot strike. Then besides us wanting to improve our running economy by reviewing and improving these metrics, there's that injury risk. Backed by a lot of data, clinical research, and the brain of NERV's lead biomechanist, Dr. Grant Tuartha, NERV assesses your training load, pronation, cadence, and balance to show you an injury risk health score. Then it also gives you a coach within the app to improve these metrics to reduce that injury risk. That's exactly what I'm looking for without having to physically get up and go somewhere and get costly assessments done. This right here, anytime I need it. So just my first impression of the device. I absolutely love it. But there are some things I don't. So let's run down some first use observations. First, let's talk about that price. The Nerve Smart Run and Souls retail for $300. Not cheap by any means but I'm someone that who has used a coach in the past and that's definitely not cheap. If this can get me the same results, which I truly believe it can, then I'm all in at that price. I'm someone that wants to do things as correctly as possible and maximize my output. I've been eyeing these things for a while and $300 seems worth it for the quality and type of product that this is. Now for the installation of the insoles, it's pretty mixed for me. The device you purchase is based on shoe size. So mine is XXL for my 12 and a half to 13 shoe size, depending on the brand. You remove your insole and you place the device under. The first one was really easy, but the second one was such a pain in the ass to get into. So just based on this, I've dedicated only this pair to train in 
because I really don't foresee myself swapping these out too often, if at all. And once the smart insoles are in and you place the shoe insole back on top, you don't feel it. Next was the app setup, which was simple and straightforward. I love the user interface of the Nerve, which can be a downfall of a lot of devices. It's intuitive and simple, yet complex with all the data points that it gives you. Once you fire up and get in the app, all you gotta do is hit run. Next point to talk about are the brains of the Nerve, which each weigh about 22.7 grams, which can sound like a lot. I've said in other videos of running shoes that 100 grams per shoe can cost you about 1% more energy, which translates to 1% slower. So here we're talking about 0.227% slower. It's really not that big a deal. It's a fractional percentage that you add to your shoe, which is pretty negligible. Surprisingly, I barely notice them at all, even though they're visibly noticeable on the shoe. And then there's the charging clip. Super annoying. Nerve knows it, they told me about it, because it's a bit of a pain in the ass to get on and off the clip. Because they need to stay firm on the shoe, it does kind of need to be tough to take off, but I really wish there was some other mechanism to achieve what's needed. That's probably the biggest annoyance with the device, if anything, and I've gotten kind of used to it. And then there's the GPS sync, which can take some time. So if you're out and about and you have to be prepared to wait for that. I did this. This is exactly what happened to me on my first run. I got out of my truck with my dog at the park and completely forgot about this step. Just stood around until it was ready to go. And it, it reminds me, if you're someone that used the old Nike running GPS watch, it had the same GPS sync process. It can take seconds or minutes, but can be a bit annoying if you're ready to go and then you have to wait. So it's just something to keep in mind when you're using the device. So far, the pros definitely outweigh the cons of the device. I mean, I love tech, obviously, and I love fitness. And most of all, I like anything that can improve my quality of life in ways that I hadn't even imagined. A lot of times people hate things just because they suck at it. And running is a very popular thing to hate. However, just from my past when I started training for half marathon, I learned as I got better that I started to love it. And I've just avoided it the past several years because I started sucking at it again. So stay tuned. I'm gonna do a follow-up video on this and how it's changed my running form for the better. And if that's something you wanna see, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and check out my podcast. It has more in-depth and behind the scenes and general nonsense that I talk about. I put those out every Thursday. Either way, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next one and get out there and start running.